Jacks here with Brad Hall again. He's going to help us demonstrate a glute bridge with the heels elevated and the shoulders on the ball. So Brad's going to get down on there and we'll show you exactly what we mean by that. It's a little bit different than a traditional one you would have seen, which is in the position he's in right now. But now he drives up onto his toes. That doesn't mean he goes up on the balls of his feet. That's easy. He's, you can see, he's like a ballerina. He's pointing his toes right in there. And then when he squeezes his glutes up to the top, he actually holds that contraction. I'll tell you right now, and I'll talk to Brad after he's done here, you do 15 or 20 of these, it's going to be a fight to see which gives up first, your glutes or your uh, calves. Really getting the uh, hips up high, keeping those toes pointed, don't let them come down onto the balls of the feet. Squeeze them up. A few more, Brad. Squeeze them up. Look at that good extension through his hips. And the tight squeeze at the top. That's very important too. Keep those up on the toes. Up on the toes. A couple more. Squeeze it up. One more time. Good job. Hey Brad, how would that feel? How would you, I'm sure you've done a regular hip extension before. What's the difference between that one? How those calves feel? Definitely feeling in the calves. I kind of thought the first five was feeling, oh, this is pretty easy. But once I got to about 12, 13, the calves started getting on fire. And definitely felt in the glutes with that little extra squeeze with that, raising that hips all the way up. It was, it was good. It was so once fun. again, this is an exercise you're not necessarily going to do it all by itself. You put it at the end of a complex. You put it with a superset with another glute or a calf exercise, some sort of posterior chain exercise. You're going to get a great effect from it.